Well, East Africa has really been making some moves and Rwanda is one of the countries that has been making a whole lot of moves. The last time I talked about Rwanda, they was announcing how they had their own smartphone come out called the Mara phone. And now they have their first gold refiner. The official said its ability to process gold around the continent, boosting efforts to ensure that Africa adds value to its minerals before exporting them. So it's a $5 million plant located in the Kigali Special Economic Zone in Gasabo District. Now, Aldongo, the company behind the initiative, is a joint venture between two firms, Hilly Metals Company, a local company, and Aldarbra. Now, I say the two hold equal shares in the business. Now, the refinery has been operating since March, actually. And so Aldongo stated that it was previously running as a business dealing in gold. We built an advanced factory with enough capacity to process large quantities of gold from all around Africa. I also say that what we are doing is not new, but people have been used to taking gold to Europe, Dubai, Turkey, Switzerland, and Belgium, basically most of European countries and the Middle East. Now what they're saying is bring the gold to Rwanda, bring it here, we will refine our own gold. Do you know what that means? That means now the continent is having the ability to harness the power of its own resources and not having to ship it off to them folks. That is progress folks. That is progress on the African continent. And I am very excited to hear this. I'm very, very excited. They say we have the same standards with our factories as those in Europe and Asia. They say for so long that we had no factories that process what is being mined on the continent. And they said the company's core business is to buy gold and process it to make sure they get 99.99% quality. That's a game changer. Let me tell you something, them folks don't like that. They, don't, they do, listen, whether you here in America, on the continent of Africa, they don't want us to do for self. They want us dependent upon them because that gives them power over us when we're dependent on them. When we say, no, we're going to process our own gold. We're going to do our own diamonds. We're going to do our own everything. Then it takes money away from them. Understand that that creates jobs for black people in Kigali. See before when they would ship it over to Europe and in all these different places, that creates jobs for their people. Now, they starting to try to even the playing field. This next decade that we're coming into, I believe is gonna be a great decade for the global black family. I really believe that. It, it, it's time for us to come up. We've been held down for hundreds and hundreds of years. We can't stay down forever. And I believe this is the time where we're gonna start turning around the continent. That's why I keep telling you, have an Africa plan, have one. Now I'm posting pictures up. And you can see what we're looking at here, what's going on in the plant. Now they say gold attracts security threats to life of the dealers and company officials believe the firm can help minimize those threats since there won't be a necessary need to travel long distance looking for gold that they can refine. So as you can see, they, they really got their things going on. They say the government says it's an important development. They say it's a crucial investment for their country. And they say that it signals so the fact that Rwanda is moving on to the next phase of adding value to its minerals, the gold refinery is the first of its kind in the country. It said it's also showcased that they can add value to raw materials investments that we have made, pointing out that the African continent loses a lot when it exports the resources raw. Yes, yes, it does. And say Rwanda's attempt to answer that question of why the continent was exporting raw commodities. Because what they'll do is they'll take it from the continent and, and do it over there and ship it right back to them and sell them at a certain price, their own things. So they are really making a change. They are taking a step and the whole East Africa community is really becoming more uh, economic powerhouse. And, and that's a good thing. There's a lot of investment going on in East Africa. And I've seen that just for the, the two countries I've been to in East Africa, Ethiopia and Kenya, a lot of opportunities to invest and they want us to come in to be a part of it as black Americans. And why not? Why not? Uh, so hopefully, you know, I can, you know, definitely get to Rwanda um, soon. 
so I can really see what they have going on as well, and also visiting, you know, with the brothers and sisters there. You know, we got people from Wanda watch the show, and shout out to our Rwandan subscribers. But um, you know, I, I'm definitely proud of uh, Rwanda for taking this step and having this refinery. They need to put up gold refineries in every country. That way, them folks don't have no reason to be taking any raw materials out of the continent. Well, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think about this particular story that's coming out of Rwanda and make sure to join us. If you have not, we got two links in the pinned comment. We have a trip coming up in May um, to Senegal and Gambia. It's a $500 deposit. Or if you want to go to South Africa, we have one coming up September one through September 10. Click those links is in the pinned comment is right there. You fill out that form on the real South Africa's, website, put in, tell me you're from African Diaspora News Channel, they will get back with you. Um, and then you can have a discussion with them about deposits, itinerary, etc. Now I can tell you the South Africa trip is half sold out. So it's only have 15 spots left on that one. Um, so make sure you jump on that because January is coming up, people getting the income tax and they just may buy those trips up. You got to get to the continent when you can. I said we had a lot of fun last year. Uh, we went to Kenya and also uh, Kenya is about to be coming up as well, coming up in October again. So we will be announcing that soon. So uh, be on the lookout on that. If you want to go to Kenya, maybe some people that went before me want to go back, uh, but we are half sold out definitely on South Africa. So jump on that ASAP because the people getting the income tax that's coming up very, very soon. Um, you may miss out. So you don't want to miss out on those trips.